Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to This and That. And we are here with, as you heard, Brooke Kelly Kilgara. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here, Brooke. And thank you for having me. Thank you for that wonderful song, With You. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> well, and uh, we are, it seems to be in the presence of a star tonight, I, huh? I guess, yes, a you local, could say that. <laughs> a local South Metro star. Mm -hmm. Well, very cool. Now, and I think the biggest thing, Brooke, that everyone out there wants to hear about is you were on American Idol season five. I was on American Idol, yes, my senior year of high school. Wow, and that was, um, so that was what, two, three years ago now? Yes, almost three years. Well, now tell me about that, as, as, um, and I will admit that I am a fan. I am a fan <laughs> out there. But now tell me about your experience, and, and um, was, it, was it here in town? No. No, I actually traveled to San Francisco and with my dad, which was a wonderful experience for the both of us. And I traveled out there at least three or four times over the course of two or three months until I went to Hollywood in December. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, and I... I uh, like, I know a lot of the a lot of our audience out there is probably a big a big fan. How many? I mean, how many votes do they get every night? I mean, how many people oh, watch the show though? My goodness! I mean, I think I watched the season finale this year, and I think they had almost ninety million. Like they is said, right? it was just a huge number, and it's. Wow. I think it's one of the greatest things for performers just to get their name out there, and like, what a better way to be able to sing in front of that many people? Well, and just to say that. I, I was on American Idol. I know, I to be a part Idol. of it. It's just a phenomenon. It's wow, great. Very cool. Well, now let's back up a second. Mm -hmm. And and if you would, walk us through at least briefly kind of the, the uh, you know, from, from audition one to how far you, you made it. Well, uh, the first audition I did was in August of my senior year. And that was in front of, it was a huge cattle call in San Francisco, which was a yeah. lot of fun. And then I did three more auditions before I actually made it to Simon, Paul, and Randy, which was in October. Oh, wow. And that was probably the scariest day of my life. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> but um, making it to Hollywood is one of the biggest accomplishments I've ever had for me personally. And also to have it with my dad was such a great thing. So then I came home for a month and I just hung out and went to school and then went back out to Hollywood in December. And then I did a week out there, which was full of rounds and it was scary and intimidating, but I made it to the top 60, which was huge for me. I did not expect to go that far. Wow, the top mm -hmm. 60. Yeah. Wow, well, and, and obviously, like you said, you went through a few uh, uh, auditions. Yes. And we have here in studio, guys, we have a copy we do. <laughs> of the ever elusive golden ticket. Mm -hmm. The golden ticket is in a glass case right now, the real one, but this is a copy of it. Well, thank you. And, and maybe after the show, we'll have you sign it. And, and we can frame can, that here on I, the set of this and that. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> wow, very cool. Well, congratulations again. You, Thank you. You made it to the top 60. Mm -hmm. And now again, for all of our audience out there that, that loves American Idol and loves the show and follows it every week and reads the blogs and reads the tabloids <laughs> and all that fun stuff, um, they want to know, how is Simon in person and how are the judges in general? Actually, Simon was so nice to me. Like, he gave me so many compliments. He told me I was uh, an extremely talented teen. Wow. Um, he was very encouraging that I was so young and trying to go for my dreams. And uh, Randy is just like you see on TV. He says dog every other word. Yo, yo, dog. <laughs> and huh? and uh, Paula, <laughs> she just, you know, hangs out and just chills there and smiles a lot. But uh, Simon was my favorite judge. I thought he was the nicest, surprisingly, to me at least. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So Simon being the nicest, I don't think we've ever heard that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, and is it is it as as it we see on TV? Is it again from you're sitting in the crowd then listening to everyone else audition? Yes, and that's very intimidating watching everyone else perform. I mean, when I got to watch Catherine McPhee. She was five feet in front of me. Oh, sure. Uh, I got to see Elliot Yamin, who mm -hmm. I just love and. That was probably one of the most rewarding things, too, is just being able to be surrounded by all these performers. But it is kind of sad to watch Simon really, he really does ridicule a lot of people, and it, it's straight up. So um, that's, I was just very lucky that he net, didn't say anything to me that was harsh. Wow, and so, mm -hmm. he, so he complimented you? And, mm -hmm. and he was it, very positive. He told me to keep going, and uh, he wanted me to come back in a couple of years and really? re-audition. Mm -hmm. Well, so speaking of that, are you potentially on your way back there? You know, I have been asked that a lot. Uh, for me personally, I think I had such a positive experience the first time that I just want to keep it that way, and uh, I want to continue on. I'm at school right now. I'm traveling back and forth to New York, and I think I'm just on a new path All as right. of right now. Mm -hmm. Well. And so you've done American Idol now. Yes. Potentially going back for another tryout. Who knows? We'll see what happens. <laughs> but so now, and that was, again, two or three years ago mm -hmm. now. What have you been up to since? 
Well, now I go to school in Boston. I go to a conservatory, which is strictly performing, which is one of the most intense schools that you can go to for performing. Uh, and I'm a musical theater major, so I'm kind of getting everything. I'm singing, I'm acting, I'm dancing, I'm doing it all. Mm -hmm. And luckily, Boston's only four hours away from New York, so I've been able to go up there a lot. I have been doing some Broadway auditions and trying out and stuff like that, and actually surprisingly getting callbacks, which is really cool really? and really rewarding. And uh, I'm just going to keep going and trying to network, and that's the goal as of right now. Wow, well, very mm -hmm. good. and congratulations again. Thank Seems you. Seems like that's an order almost every time yeah. you say something. <laughs> now, uh, can you say anything about what you potentially got called back for? Or? Well, I auditioned for uh, Legally Blonde, the musical, which I know it's kind of weird because I'm a brunette, <laughs> but I did get a call back for them, and I got two callbacks, which was really cool, and I got to oh, sing wow. in front of the producers. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, that was my first Broadway audition ever. Wow. So that was huge. And um, so we'll see what will happen in the future. Wow, well, again, yeah. congratulations. We are in the presence of a star, like we said before. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, now, locally here, so yes. you're here for the summer. I am here. What are summer. you up to over the summer, and, and um, you know well, what, what brings you back to Minnesota besides family? Well, um, I wanted to come back for another summer in uh, Minnesota. I love Minnesota. My family's here, um, and I just wanted to be back here before I officially moved to Boston, because I just got my first apartment. Uh, which I'm very excited about. And I'm going to be, well, I am singing at Valley Fair. They have a little gazebo show, and that is what I do. <laughs> I sing and dance <laughs> for all kids and everyone, and I try to get everyone involved. And it's one of the greatest gigs I think anyone can do because it's great hours, great pay, and you get to sing the whole entire day. Like, there's nothing better for me to do. <laughs> so you're doing something that you love and exactly. getting paid for it, mm -hmm. getting a little exposure. Out in the sun, yep. <laughs> well, so for all you fans out there that want to get a hold of Brooke and see what she is up to, check out Valley Fair. And you're, mm -hmm. and, and you're there through, what, probably August um, or so? September. Oh, September, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, we'll, uh, we'll have to make a trip out there and, and the whole crew here at this and that. Everyone, yes. <laughs> take a trip out there and, and we'll, be in the, we'll be in the back. And I'll, I'll come out and sing right to you. That's right, and, and I will have to admit, I have I have um, been in, in the audience for one of those shows before, <laughs> so I, I can uh, attest to the fact that, yep, the uh, the performers do come off stage. <laughs> they and do. They meet and greet the crowd mm -hmm. during the show. So. Yes, right in the middle. Now, we don't do that here on This and That, of course, but <laughs> unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, let's see, Brooke, now, again, we, we talked about, again, getting in touch with you mm -hmm. at Valley Fair, of course, but what about if somebody wants to see what potentially is next for you? down the road, how you did on some of your auditions. Um, is there a way to, to get in touch with you? Well, I have a MySpace, uh, and so that's really the best way to communicate for me. It is um, myspace.com, Brooke Kilgariff, and you can check up and see what I'm doing and how I'm doing, how my auditions are going. I put up new music there when I start writing and recording. So there's a, a song that I wrote up on there, and um, that's the best way to check in, really. Wow, so, mm -hmm. so all you guys out there, if you want to see, get a hold of Brooke, see what she's up to, kind of keep, keep an, a tab on her, so to speak, <laughs> kind of cross your fingers for some of those auditions. Again, mm -hmm. check out her MySpace page. And, um, and before we go, Brooke, I want to see if we can pull up on camera a few of the photographs from yes. American Idol. Yes. I understand that, um, that we do have those now. And mm -hmm. um, There's two pictures, I understand. Yes. And what are they, those of? Well, one of them is of me and Ryan Seacrest. And that was my like glory moment right after I got my golden ticket and that's hit him right. with the door. Of course, that's well, the, the best way there. to go. Uh, and we were on a break, so I grabbed him real quick for a picture. And that's right after I was told I was going to Hollywood. So that's one of my best moments. Smile ear to ear there, Huge huh? smile, I know. <laughs> uh, and then the second picture, surprisingly, um, Constantine, who was on the season before me. That's right, yeah. He came to my school and did a workshop for the seniors, but the school knew that I had performed on American Idol before, so they called me up and him and I got to hang out for the day and that was really cool because he came and performed and sang for us and we kind of chatted about our American Idol experience and it was great meeting him. So that's a picture of me and him. Wow, and so he, and you said he came, he went to your school then? And, he actually and did, did go to my school, yes. He went to Boston Conservatory. Really? So he came back to talk to the graduating seniors, but then I was able to be come in and watch him. Oh, and, wow. Mm -hmm. So I felt kind of cool. Wow, Being small the world. only senior there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wow, that's very cool. Well, and, and like I said, like I said, when we we open the segment here, we are in the presence of a, <laughs> at least a local star for now. But again, keep your eyes peeled for what uh, Brooke Kelly Kilgariff yes. is up to next. Mm -hmm.